I started with two wooden slices. I got a pack of these at Walmart and they measure about four inches. And I took some Republic Red and Antique Villa Wise Owl paint and I mixed them together to get this color that I wanted. And I painted two of the wood slices with two coats. I allowed those to dry and then I found a circle shape that was three inches in diameter. I laid it in the center of my wood slice and I painted using Antique Villa around the outside. I did that to both wood slices and then I allowed that to dry. I then took this roll of tape that was about three and a half inches. I put that on my wood slice and around the outside of that I used some Spanish olive wise owl paint to get the outer trim green. Now you can use any anything for your circles. They just should measure about three inches and three and a half inches. And then I took some black and a very small art brush and I just added little lines to the top of the wood slice here and now we have two watermelon slices. And then I set those aside to dry. I then grabbed two more wooden slices and I painted those using Citron from Wise Owl and I gave them two coats of the Citron. I set those aside to dry and when they were dry I took a plastic cup and I laid it in the center and around the outer edge I painted it with Antique Villa. And then I took my roll of tape that was about three inches in diameter and on the inside of the roll of tape I made a circle using the Antique Villa. So now this wood slice has a trim of Antique Villa, a layer of the Citron, and then another circle of Antique Villa. And now everything dried and I took this wooden triangle that I had left over from a project and I just used it to give me my slices. So I would lay it down. I took my antique villa and just painted on both ends of the triangle. And now we have our lemon. And I repeated the same thing on the second wood slice. And it doesn't matter how you create these. I just showed you an easy way for me to create both the watermelon and the lemon. If you need to use tape to section off your slices, then you can certainly do that as well. And once I allowed everything to dry, I then took a 220 grit sandpaper and gave each wood slice a nice sanding. This just smooths out the paint. I grabbed a chip brush and a little bit of Antique Villa and just lightly dry brushed over both lemon slices to finish those off. And then I took some one hour enamel clear from Wise Owl Paint and a Gen Foam brush and I just gave each wood slice several coats and allowed proper dry time between each coat. And now you have a set of fruit slice coasters. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Paint products can be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can check out some other tutorials over on our YouTube or our webpage as well. Have a great day.